Hello and welcome to the Photographic Artists Review. I'm Mara and today we're going to be going to see the Ottawa exhibition at the Spectrum Hub in Seam. Let's go! So we're inside the Spectrum Cultural Hub now and I'm with Catherine Barnett who's an artist who has a studio here mm -hmm. and you're going to tell us a little bit about it? Hopefully, yeah. Okay, so the actual Cultural Hub comprises of an exhibition space which you can see in use behind and there's also a project space so we can bring people in and carry out workshops and what have you and then we have the studio spaces which are very low cost studio spaces mainly geared up for like students and people who perhaps can't afford to run a job and have a full-time studio at some of the prices that are charged and you've also got this wonderful exhibition space mm -hmm. now i know there was an exhibition previously i think this is the second one this is, is that the right second one, yeah. um, and I'm guessing there's plans for more. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. And um, how are people going to hear about them? We've got a website running. I'll give you the links for all this. We are on put, Twitter. I'll put that yeah. underneath the video. We're on Twitter. Yeah. We're on Facebook. Um, you can email us. All the information about contact details or accessibility statement, that's all on the website. So and what I'll do is I'll link to that below the video if anybody's interested. Yeah. So you can search for it anyway. We're even on Google Maps now, so that's how, <laughs> that's how digitally we enabled we are. So my name is Holly Dirk, I've just graduated from Sunderland with photography. Um, I'm just doing an internship at Spectrum at the moment, and I've also just finished a piece of my own work, which is working with charity. So here I've just finished my internship, which I did through the university. The second half we decided to put on this exhibition as an idea to show people who aren't directly involved in Spectrum what it's about, it's an open call exhibition and yeah the idea is to get the space used to show people what is happening here, it's a studio space, it's a gallery space, it's also space for workshops and it can kind of be tailored to meet your needs. I'm Dan from Peter Lee. I'm also from Peter Lee and my name's Connor. I'm Sequoia from um, CM. Okay and where are you guys studying? East Durham College. It's very different this exhibition. Like I haven't seen any other exhibitions like it before. But um, it is good. Yeah. It's what do you like about it? I just like how individual it is. Yeah, different as well. Um, with me actually being here around Seam, I actually um, I will I will admit there aren't many areas to go and see art galleries and stuff. So, and I actually never, didn't know there was an art gallery around this area. So it's good to know that there is actually a good like, collection of art in this area. And, and it, it's, just, it's just a really nice change, really. And um, it's, it's just, I, I didn't know that they had this sort of connection here with the college. It, it's, just, it's just, I think, the art around here, it's very much like the art we do in the college. And I, I really like the, um, the different themes of it. I'm Phil Barker. My role here in Spectrum is of the sort of chief operating officer or organiser. I do most of the organising and help facilitate and try and attract people to use our exhibition space along with studio space that we also have here. Okay, so this is the second exhibition that's going on in this space. What, what is the importance of having an exhibition space here? How, how does it fit in? Well, one of the problems uh, that I find in the Northeast, there are very little private uh, galleries or even public galleries where an ordinary artist, unless you're a well-known name, is able to display your work. And I felt that it's something that's needed in this area to be able to create these small initiative galleries um, and basically it's to allow the ordinary student who hasn't got any access to this type of work or these type of premises. 
So, yeah, that's my idea behind all of this. <laughs> You're saying student, but there's, you know, there is some really accomplished artists around here, and there's some really accomplished artists exhibiting here. So this is not just for a student, is it? It's for it's for it's, emerging no. artists. It's basically yeah. it's for any any person who is not as well known throughout the country and not recognised by by people from the Arts Council. <laughs> Put it bluntly, bluntly, and this is one of the issues that I've got is that unless you are i.e. recognised by someone like the Arts Council you do not get opportunity to display your work. You can't go and display in places like the Baltic which are Arts Council funded, MEMA which is Arts Council funded although I understand they may be trying to change that policy. So it's about inclusion of all the artists and everyone working in the artistic community around this area? Yes, yes. So the message is, you don't need to go, you can do it right here. Absolutely. Do it right just here, in a nice little setting. <laughs> Good setting.